Okay, so once you have your hair pinned back, I also just kind of tucked it under. Um, I don't really care what the back of my head looks like, but try to make it as flat as possible. So your hair is pinned up, your face is clean. Now you're going to take your bald cap and you're going to place it on. So the ball cap is on now. You can see if you need to trim it or not. Um, it depends on the size of your head. So I notice that it comes kind of low on me, and you really want it to be right in the middle of your forehead. And the right, the way to do it is to mark it with a pencil where you need to trim it. And then you kind of want to get it right where you have a natural forehead wrinkle. So I'm just going to lightly make a line so I know where to trim it. I'm also going to make a line around the ears. And you want to give yourself about half an inch from where the um, your hairline is. Okay, so I, as you can see, I line the edges where I want. Now, don't trim too much because it's always good to start and then you can kind of trim more as needed. So now I'm going to take a little pair of scissors. These are just like nail scissors and I'm going to trim it. Okay, so I trimmed the ball cap. So now I can place this part down and it's a little bit higher. I could probably trim it a little bit more, but this is gonna be okay for my tutorial. Okay, so now you're gonna glue down the edges and what I'm gonna do to help see where the cap ends is I'm just gonna take a little bit of the powder and I'm just going to powder the edge just to see how far I'm supposed to glue. So I'm going to roll it up and you can see where the, above the powder that's where the glue should go. So I'm going to take the spirit gum and it comes with a little nail polish brush and then I'm just going to apply the glue along the edge. And if you just um, take a Q-tip or something and just kind of roll it, it makes it stickier quicker. And then you don't have to make your fingers all sticky. Just because you want this tacky before it goes on. So you can tell when it's tacky when it really feels like you're, the, this is sticking to you. Okay, so then when the spirit gum is tacky, you're going to take the cap and slowly and carefully press the edges down. Like that. And I'm just going to get where on the sides where I didn't get the glue. and then glue these edges down.
If you feel like it's not glued securely, go ahead and just add more glue. Okay, so the ball cap is on, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you it a little bit, and I didn't glue it back all the way in the back, just for the purpose of this tutorial. But make sure to glue all the way around the edges. So when you feel like it's pretty secure, what you're going to do is take some liquid latex and a sponge and apply it over the edges, just so that way you kind of hide the seam. And the smooth sponge will kind of give you like a smoother edge. So do like one to two layers of this and then let it dry. Okay, so when the bald cap is dry, the liquid latex all around, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of mess this part up. So I tried to trim it off. But anyways, what you're gonna do is take a sponge, um, a puff and the powder, and you're gonna powder the edges because otherwise everything will kind of just stick together. And then what you're going to do after this is go ahead and do the rubber grease paint on top of the cap. But use like your regular like Graphitobian cream foundations on the skin just so it looks a little bit more like skin like. But I'm actually not going to use this because part two of this tutorial is going to be my Tin Man look. And I want to do actually like a silver look. So won't be doing this. But this is the basic, you know, steps of how to apply a ball cap. I didn't do it perfectly, but I think that you kind of get the gist of it. And this is really good like to do for so many costumes. And if you want to see how I finish up this tutorial and become a Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz, stay tuned for part two of this tutorial. <laughs>